हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस इज़ द प्रॉब्लम नंबर बी ऑफ कोर्ट फोर्सेज राउंड 727 ट्वेंटी सेवन टू सो द प्रॉब्लम इज आई वॉन्ट रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट बट आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू यू ओके यू हैव सो बेसिकली इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग ओके लेट्स टेक अ सेकेंड टेस्ट केस आई एम सॉल्विंग द सेकेंड टेस्ट केस एंड एवरी वन विल बी सॉल्व फ्रॉम दैट सो टेक अ वी हैव वी आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग ओके इन दिस केस इट्स ए बी बी ए बी ए ए ओके एंड देन वी आर गिवन द क्यू नंबर ऑफ क्वेरीज एंड इन दोज क्वेरीज वी आर गिवन टू इंडेक्सिस ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इन दिस केस वी आर गिवन वन टू थ्री फाइव टू सेवन सिक्स टू सिक्स टू टू फोर सो बेसिकली इन ईच क्वेरी वी हैव टू रिपीट द द अल्फाबेट्स विच आर अकरिंग इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सब स्ट्रिंग यू नो वट इज द सब स्ट्रिंग दिस इज द सब स्ट्रिंग एंड इन द पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी वी आर गिवन टू इंडेक्सिस एल एंड आर so basically from uh, uh, position number वन to position number थ्री which in our case it's a b b so we have to uh, basically calculate the final length of that substring when each of the alphabet uh, which is occurring in that substring has been repeated uh, the number of times in uh, the number of times it occurs in the uh, alphabet sequence like uh, what i'm trying to explain is let's uh, let's see this example so this is the a b b a b a a so basically this is the position we uh, sorry i'm i'm i was wrong i, I told um, so basically we have to um, repeat the integers which are occurring in the particular sub segment of this string um, in each query like uh, for the first query i am solving for the let's take any of the query let let's take the second query so it is the 5 to 7 so from um, let's um, let's mark it as uh, indexes so it's index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, and 6 okay so basically we are uh, we we have for the for this particular query we are solving from 5 to 7 that means from uh, index number 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 so that that means from index this to this index so basically in this uh, but for for each query we have to repeat um, every alphabet the number of times according to its position in the alphabet sequence so um, for a this is the first element so it will be um i i it will be repeated once okay since it's for the b is the second element so it will be repeated twice if we have if we had c then it will be repeated three number of three number of times so basically i uh, make a note of uh, the number of times it uh, it occurs and we can simply do that by in python we can uh, we can use the ordinate function this is the ord ordinate function you can uh, search for it in geeks for geeks or stack overflow and uh, ordinate basically gives you the um, ascii code of the particular uh, alphabet for small a i think it is the 97 i think um, i may be wrong i don't know um, so it's the it's the 97 and so you can um, subtract 96 from it and so it will definitely give you the num uh, position of that um, particular alphabet uh, in the alphabet sequence so uh, let's uh, this is the first step we have to um, uh, make a note of the number of times a particular element uh, can be um, repeated in the final sub sequence suppose um, this is the what why i am doing doing this there's a reason for that let's see uh, see the reason so the reason is i have to calculate the number of queries in a range of l to r so whenever you see these kinds of problems there is only one concept that should come to your mind this is the prefix sum array in uh, what do we have to do be with me okay so let's make a prefix sum array how do we make prefix sum array someone says i don't know how to make a prefix sum array okay so uh, i in my approach i take the first element as zero always i take it take it like that okay now for that i am making the prefix sum array of this particular position sequence which i have written for each alphabet in the given sequence what do we have to do um, we just have to um, take the last element from the prefix add the particular element from this particular list this is the position list i'll i'll take it as pos for the convenience and you can add 
it will become 1 then take this and add this it will become 3 similarly I will complete it for you it's the prefix array and what is this prefix um, is, um, why, why I am use, using this you will you will understand it completely let's wa wait for a second I, I'll tell you so so we are given the query we have to find the sum from position 5 to position 7 this is the this is the position 0 this is the position 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 we have to find the sum of the integers from particular we have to find the sum for the integers in this particular subsequence why is that because when we uh, repeat the integers and in uh, the number of times we have taken this example of 5 to 7 and so in, from 5 to 7 if I repeat this sequence what will it become it will become B B A and A because B is repeated twice because it's the second element A is repeated once and A is repeated once so uh, in prefix sum array we are actually finding the sum for every index so for a particular subsequence from 5 to 7 we will just have to do one more step and the answer will be right with us so the answer will be it will be prefix of r of r what is this r r is the right bound or the upper bound you can say a prefix of r minus prefix some array of L minus 1 why is this L minus 1 because we have to consider the L the element at the L position this is the L this is the L and this is the R okay so we have to take take the sum from L to R so basically we are subtracting the sum from L minus 1th part from the whole of the array so we will be left with l to r okay this will be the answer for each of the sequence for each of the query sorry each of the query okay so i will tell you its code so i'm coding uh, So we will subtract the prefix of um, prefix array of R um, and the prefix array of uh, L minus one, and we will print it for each of the query. Let's see if it's working or not. Take the first example, and one second, I have to uh, do it for only one test case. So there will be only this. Uh, one second, split, split. It's the splitting now. Mm. Oh, sorry. This is the function four, seven, and eleven. Correct for the second. Of course, it will be correct for. 54145 it's 5415 no yeah and then let's take this one ready to 1259 191 yeah it's correct it's correct so basically uh, this is the loop and uh, for for one only one test case i have to use in using this then take n and q and is the size of the r and q is the number of queries take the string and I have converted into list suppose it's the if the string is karmanya so so it's converting into k a r something like that okay you'll get the idea then it's the position and I have append the ordinate of i this ordinate of i is the it returns the ASCII value of the particular alphabet and as we know the ASCII value of uh, small a is equal to 97 as I explained where did I explain that 
here so we will subtract 96 from it and it will return the position so it, it has returned the position then I have uh, and this particular statement is for the prefix sum array this is the function where is the function I have written this function here define prefix of li so it's basically adds up um, adds up uh, an extra zero at the front so it, it it's good because if we have this uh, if uh, sorry if 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 we have this zero this particular zero here this zero here so we can easily subtract the l minus one element in case the l is zero l is one so for i in range q so we have taken though these l and r these are the bounds and then we have subtracted this prefix array of r minus prefix array of l minus one for each of the queries and the overall time complexity for this is how what will be the time complexity its time complexity is only it, it's only o of n because we are only iterating once something n into k maybe but uh, it will be k it's uh, any it, it's a constant but in the long run it's only taken as <laughs> o of n so this was the code